Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. Oh, we're not immediately just picking? Um, wouldn't it be because he... Okay, let me see the letters that they sent initially to each other. So this is the one from Kristoff to Drew. I've deposited it. Please the hundred thousand dollars, that's a hot mod of Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> in the designated account. Please send a receipt once you've confirmed the transfer, sign the papers and send in the enclosed envelope with the enclosed stamp within three days. I need not remind you to speak of this to no one. Back. And then there's the other letters that we letter from Misham. There's an address on here and a name I've never heard of. At least, I think so. It's too blurry to read. Check the back. Nothing. There's a signature on the back. We can't examine it, though. That's dumb. Okay, well, if we have a, need a reason, it could be because of the forged... Or it could... It could be because of the forgery that before caused Phoenix Wright to mm -hmm. lose his attorney. Wanna marriage. try that? Yeah. <laughs> Christoph Gavin's motive becomes clear when we consider why the stamp came to Drew Misham's studio in the first place. And why was that? Forgery, your honor. Go back seven years. Drew Misham accepts his first job creating forged evidence. I've seen that before. A page from a diary, wasn't it? Magnify Grammarie's diary. Ah, oh, when attorney Phoenix Wright lost his badge, yes. This was the evidence he presented to his loss. This evidence is a fake, yes. But did Mr. Wright request the forgery to be made? That was never proven! The defense attorney on that case was Phoenix Wright. Who other than him drunk with the prospect of victory could have done it? And why would they? Just out of curiosity, do you remember this letter? This is the first page. And this is the second. Those were presented in court yesterday. This letter was sent to Drew Mission by the client who requested the forgery. The enclosed stamp was none other than the poisoned commemorative stamp. Drew Mission drew his last breath just the other day. However, the motive for his murder was already seven years old. Seven years old? The client who requested this forgery was very cautious. He tried to erase anything, and anyone with connections to the forgery. To keep them from talking? But he made a mistake. The stamp was a picture of my favorite magicians, so I kept it. Father took me when I was very young. It was a great magic show. I loved it so much. The killer's time bomb was delayed. The poison stamp was sealed within a glass frame, where it sat for seven whole years. Air Forehead, do you understand what you've, you're telling us? The one who schemed up the forged diary page was the one who poisoned the stamp. And it was Phoenix Wright who presented the forged evidence seven years ago. Adding the two statements together, the one who schemed to kill Drew Misham was none other than Phoenix Wright. Objection! Sorry, but that's not how this is gonna go down. Oh, then how will it go down? I checked through the records on that case when I found this. Seven years ago, just before the trial began. Oh, oh boy! Um, uh, here. What's this? I don't know. I just got it over there in the hall. They told me to give it to the old boy in the blue suit with the spiky hair. And one more thing. I'm sorry to have sprung this on you so suddenly. I received the files from your previous attorney only yesterday. I understand I am asking the impossible of you. Yes, well, you haven't really told me what happened yet. All we did was play cards. And that was enough. Phoenix Wright was put on the case the day before the trial started. He didn't have time to request a forgery! 
the day before? Now here's a question. Just who was Shady Enigmar's previous defense attorney? <laughs> That's so funny. No, th this can't all be. But it is all true. There was another man, a defense attorney with a badge on his collar. It was you, Christoph Gavin. Yeah, my gosh. That makes so much sense, because I wondered why he got put on the trial the day before. And mm -hmm. then how, like, I knew he wouldn't have done the forgery. I knew that. But, like, mm -hmm. who his previous defense attorney was, I'm like, oh, it's all coming together. Order, order, order. W what is the meaning of this witness? I mean, defendant, er, former lawyer? Let me begin by denying this. Objection! It's easy enough to look up, Mr. Gavin. And impossible to prove if you can't. Attorneys are registered with the court the day before the trial begins. In other words, no record remains in the court. How exactly do you intend to prove Phoenix Wright's claim? Hmm. That would be difficult. I'm afraid this line of inquiry won't yield. Objective! Air Forehead, are you sure you don't have evidence? What's wrong with Prosecutor Gavin? He looks clammy. Evidence? Evidence that shows this man, Christoph Gavin, requested that forgery seven years ago. Clavier? Just prove it! Clear up these doubts now, or I swear I'm off this case! You must have thought of some evidence, Apollo. Prosecutor Gavin looks like he's in physical pain. That darkness. It's Where did own... it come from? <laughs> Where did it come from? Here's the thing! I mean, if it's your own sibling, that would be terrible yeah. to watch. I have to pull that darkness out of him, and the proof is the only way I can. What proves Christoph Gavin's link to Drew Misham? Well, Mr. Justice, you claim Christoph Gavin requested a forgery of Drew Misham seven years ago. Prove it. It can be proven. Simply ridiculous. Why even discuss it? This evidence does not- I bet you Phoenix Wright forged it! Are you telling the truth, Apollo Justice? Okay, one thing- I was gonna point this out earlier, but yeah. I decided to point out yeah. now. Compare- Clavier and Kristoff's outfits. Clavier dresses mostly in dark colors and like yeah. black, but like on the inside he's like, he's a, like good a good person. And then Kristoff, like he dresses all calmly and like nicely. If you look closely at Kristoff, he has like a pure black coat on underneath, like his blue garb. Oh, like, okay. You'll see it like uh, like when we go over there. Are you telling the truth about justice? I am. Then I say we give him the benefit of the doubt. Very well. But if you're wrong about this. Be prepared for a penalty. This much! <laughs> oh yeah, dark your, shirt. Your Honor, you do the defense an injustice. Mr. Justice is clearly passionate about his claim. Should the penalty not match his passion? I haven't given a penalty like that in a long time. Well, Mr. Justice, it's this, this much! much. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, Your Honor. All I have to do is prove any kind of link. Something that ties Christoph Gavin to Drew Misham. And I have something that clearly does the job. Very well, Mr. Justice. Present your evidence. Show us the link between our witness and Drew Misham. Easy enough to do. Yeah. This evidence proves there's a link. Objection. That scrap of paper? I'm afraid I can't let you submit that. Is there some problem? There is. How could you possibly have that? You couldn't. We time traveled. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's Daddy's handwriting. Oh no! Did he rewrite the stupid thing? Are we gonna get? Are we gonna get kicked out of the court again? Mr. Wright's handwriting. What is the meaning of this? Ah, I see now. Yes, of course. What do you mean, of course? I just remembered I had a visitor yesterday, when I was in the middle of taking a massive bathroom break for me drinking Mountain Dew Baja Blast from Taco Bell. Uh, Phoenix Wright came to my cell, except I wasn't there. Phoenix Wright? When I returned, I saw he had something of mine in his possession. Of course, I had no intention of letting him get away with reading my private mail. Mail? You mean this letter was in your cell? No. However, it appears Mr. Wright is yet to be cured of his bad forging habit. Well, if it's a forgery, it's not a very good one. The handwriting's terrible! <laughs> <laughs> this is Mr. Wright's reproduction of what was written in the real letter. Reproduction? 
when Mr. Wright visited Christoph Gavin's cell, he brought with him a small video camera. I was right! What? Oh, wait, wait, I wanted to see that face longer. He recorded his entire conversation with you, Mr. Gavin, and, and the contents of your personal mail. Re regardless, this mockery of a piece of evidence will never be oh, accepted man. by the court. Look at all those creases. <laughs> he just gets sinister looking, yeah. Evidence based on a video a man with no authority whatsoever claims he took. A man who happens to be an ex-attorney suspected of forgery. Hmm. Prosecutor Gavin? Prosecutor Gavin? As embarrassing as this is for me to say, I'm afraid my brother is incapable of making rational judgments at the moment. Your Honor, your decision, please. The defense's claim is denied. What?! Only actual evidence is permitted in a court of law. Please remove the defense's evidence from the record. Better luck next time, Justice. Now about the penalty that was this big. big. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've certainly taken a detour from our cross-examination. But the defense appears to be lacking proof. I'm forced to end the cross-examination of Christoph Gavin at this point. Apollo, do something! I'm thinking, but without evidence. I don't have anything I can use on him. Very well, this ends the special witness's cross-examination. Yeah, call that. The show's over, yet the crowd screams for more. Only now do I understand why. Prosecutor Gavin? Frankly, I'm relieved. This has been bothering me for seven whole years. Wow! And I'm tired of the whole youthful angst scene. Now's our chance. Let's clean out the family closet, eh, Kristoff? Clavier, you're spinning out of control. Calm yourself before you say something you'll regret. Spinning out of whose control? Mine? Or yours? Exactly. Take a moment to consider everything you've built. Your reputation as a prosecutor. Your fame with the masses. You could lose it all, Clavier. Apollo! Did you see that? He's trying to press Prosecutor Gavin! Prosecutor Gavin! Try to remember what's really important to you! You amuse me, Air Forehead. I couldn't forget what's really important to me, even if I tried. In fact, I haven't. Not even once. Seven years ago. Finally. You just couldn't resist, could you, Air Right? Resist what? Presenting solid evidence? Might I request we put the current cross-examination on hold? The prosecution would like to call a new witness. He's blinking a lot. State your name and occupation for the record. I'm familiar with the trial. I've watched the video several times. Didn't you find anything unnatural about it? Unnatural? Well, you did seem unusually well prepared. I mean, you were sucking for most of that trial. Yeah. I mean, Mr. Wright had only just presented his evidence. And the next moment you call in Drew Misham. It was almost as if... Almost as if... What? I wondered how quick, how the heck he did that so quickly. Funny, it didn't even occur to me to wonder. But now that I do, I see there's only one possible explanation. Almost as if, from the very beginning, you knew Mr. Wright was going to present that evidence. Oh, correct. I knew that if I applied the usual pressure, Phoenix Wright would eventually come up with that forged diary piece. Don't do this, Clavier. I knew because you told me, Kristoff. What? What? The crowd goes wild. It was the night before the trial. Wait, Clavier. I need, I need to see a scene of them sitting together and like drinking huh. coffee and tea. <laughs> Clavier, Kristoff, I'd seen you at the prosecutor's office the day before the trial. Ah, I won't be appearing in the trial actually. Huh? Why not? I won't be facing off with you on your first trial, apparently. But in exchange, I brought information. Information? The attorney who will be there in my place tomorrow is not to be trusted. Don't even give him the benefit of your respect. Listen, I want you to call in a special witness. Then... 
I wondered about it at the time. How did Kristoff know so much? Prosecutor Gavin. Kristoff, we were supposed to face each other in that trial. A fair fight, brother to brother. I deserve that much. You let me borrow the victim's belongings. You showed me all your research on the case. The victim's belongings? Which would have included Magnify's diary, wouldn't it? Mr. Gavin? My, my, Clavier, you disappoint me. You find trees, yet miss for the forest. You're the one missing the forest, Mr. Gavin. You can't sweep this under the rug. Not anymore. Tell me what was going on behind that trial. Why not? I've achieved what I came here to do. I see no harm in a little reminiscing. Apollo. I think we're finally going to shine a light on the black belly of this fiend, Trucy. We've done everything we could. I hope it's enough. Seven years ago, the day before the trial, I visited the detention center at the request of my client, Zach Grammery. Two cards. One card. Showdown time. Enough. You lose, Gavin. Thanks for the work. Now go. To be honest, I don't know what his reasons were to this day. As far as I could tell, he dismissed me as his representation because I lost in a game of poker. I can come to no other conclusion. Daddy used to say something. If you want to know a man, you have to compete. Zack wasn't watching his points or the cards. He was watching the man behind the cards, Christoph Gavin. I couldn't believe it. Phoenix Wright, a second-rate attorney who relies on luck and bluffs. He dismissed me and went with that pitiful excuse for a man. He deserved to die for that error alone. Hold it! So the one who requested that forgery was... Oh, I'm not admitting to anything. My point is, these two men shamed me and I could not forgive that. Phoenix Wright and Zach Remery both deserved what they got. So you asked Mr. Misham to forge that evidence so you could win. But then when you were dismissed as Zach Remery's attorney, you used your forged evidence as a trap. You fed me information about the forgery you made. Then you gave your dirty evidence to him. You're free to imagine what you will. My point is, is that all that I imagined came to pass. Everything went perfectly. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Incredible. If I wasn't laughing, I'd weep. Prosecutor Gavin? Perfectly? You're mad, Kristoff. Stop fooling yourself. What are you talking about, Clavier? Tell me, how did that trial end? Cancelled. When the defendant vanished. Ah, I get it. So, Kristoff. You've been living in fear for seven years. What? You were afraid your forgery would be revealed and your reputation trashed. You couldn't leave things to chance, so you watched everyone involved with the case for seven years. You know, he always felt like he was being watched. That's what he said every day for seven years. But I felt it too. Journalist, sure he is being watched, end quote. Don't you wonder why Zach Grammery got rubbed out after seven years? Right after coming into contact with me? W wait just a minute. Zach Grammery was seen by this reporter? How is that possible? Was he alive after being gone seven years? Finally. I knew this moment was coming. I just didn't think we'd get here so fast. Zach Grammery gone missing for seven years. Trucy's father. What's wrong, Apollo? Go get him! Right. Leave it to me. Allow me to refresh the court's memory. Six months ago, Christoph Gavin was charged with murdering a mysterious traveler. I remember him quite well. Shady Smith, was it? Poisoned in a Chinese restaurant. Tragic. <laughs> The details don't really matter right now. <laughs> what matters is that Traveler was Zach Grammery. What is
is it, Apollo? Huh? Keep going! We'll talk about it later. Did she already know? Someone please explain this. Mr. Justice, can you explain this? It all started seven years ago. The great magician Magnify Grammary's death started it. Magnify Grammary's death and his student Zach Grammary the suspect. Whoever defended Zach in court successfully would be famous beyond belief. Thinking that, Kristoff did the unthinkable. He forged evidence. Drew Misham? Actually, it was his daughter, Vera, who really did the work. You took precautions when you had that forgery made, didn't you, Mr. Gavin? Precautions? To keep people from talking, of course. These two know too much. Leave them alive and there'll be nothing but trouble. That's when you planned your poisoning of the forgers. Atroquinine. Applied to a commemorative stamp. But luck was on Mr. Misham's side. The bomb didn't go off. His daughter? She saved him by taking the stamp. I see. But that wasn't the only bomb he set up. The Aradani nail polish? Of course. You noticed something when you requested that forgery. When Vera Misham is nervous, she has a bad habit. A tendency to bite her nails. Ah! That nail polish was her good luck charm. Yeah. She was almost kidnapped. Once. Since then, she's been... Well, you can see for yourself. She refuses to leave the house. That person gave me a good luck charm for when I absolutely had to go outside. It protects me. Yes, apparently she received something. A gift. She won't tell me what it was. It was from that client. The one who wanted that note made. It was his insurance. Insurance? As long as she lived quietly at home, there was no danger to her. But what if she had to go outside? If she ran into any trouble, she'd become nervous. And the nail polish would do the rest. His time bomb sat there for seven years. And then, they went off almost simultaneously. Yeah, this, this guy is really evil. Really evil and really weird. And really smart. <laughs> yeah. If you're finished, may I return to my cell now? I'm not accustomed to standing for such long periods of time. You used to be. Mr. Gavin! Have you heard a single thing we've said? Oh, I listened quite closely to your little tale. Quite an entertaining piece of fiction. What? Clavier, surely you understand. We're back to the evidence. The lacking evidence. Nothing proves a link between him and the Atroquinine that took Drew Mishim's life. Objection! What about the restaurant? You killed Zach Grammary! To keep him from talking! I killed no man of that name. Read over the report again if you like. The victim was a traveler by the name of Shady Smith about whom we know little else. You can't seriously think I knew that he was that particular fugitive. Objection! Okay, then why did you kill him? I plead my right to remain silent. Remember, this court did not convene to put me on trial. The defendant's name is Vera Misham, suspected in the murder of her father. My trial's been finished for six months now. Hmm... I'm afraid we have strayed considerably from our purpose here. This court concurs with the witness. It is defendant Vera Misham who was on trial here. No! But you were doing so good, Apollo! You actually weren't bluffing and you knew yeah. what to present! As long as there is no evidence to support the accusation against him, this course of inquiry cannot find Vera Misham innocent. Objection. Your Honor! Phoenix Wright spent seven years collecting this evidence! Objection. You still don't get it, do you? Let us assume there was poison in the nail polish. Who then was responsible for causing Vera Misham to bite her nails? Wh what? It wasn't me, I know that much. The one who brought that poison to her lips was you. Wh what? But how would you know that? Because he heard that we pressured Vera by talking to her. Oh, okay, I guess. <laughs> Evidence is everything. 
There is nothing more. I believe this discussion has reached its conclusion. No. Y your Honor! Mr. Justice, you have performed admirably well for a novice attorney. Wow! I respect your partner Phoenix Wright's determination as well. However, without direct proof you have nothing. Isn't that right, Claudia? Unfortunately, yes, Kristoff, you're right. That is, you would have been right until now. What? Did the news not reach your desk in solitary? The eyes of the nation are on this courtroom today. This is the trial case for a new judicial system. That's right! I totally forgotten! The jurist system! Jurists, you say? The current judicial system has been deemed too closed off from society. This new system attempts to inject the wisdom of common citizens into the law. Wait, well, the, <laughs> the main jurist is Phoenix right? No, he's the head of the jurists. He doesn't vote on this. Oh, I was he like... He just chose the jurists. Oh, okay. <laughs> he could have chosen whoever the heck he wanted. Common citizens? Wisdom? Is this some kind of a joke? Have you ever been on social media before? <laughs> have you seen the crap people around? <laughs> if he actually said that, he would have yeah. had a good point. Yeah. What could we possibly gain by doing this? Entrusting our judicial system to a mindless, emotional mob of irrational mouth breathers? Common citizens have something called common sense. Common sense is not restricted by the law. Nonsense! There's only room for two in the court! Me and the law! Whoa. Keep the riffraff out! Out, I say! The, the jurists are just like- They're not in the courtroom, actually. They're watching everything by video camera. How, how can you allow this? Incidentally, the one responsible for making this happen was Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Phoenix Wright. So, everything was leading to this, of course. Right. 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 <laughs> Off. It's over. Clavier! The law is absolute. You can't be serious. Wh what? Odd. I thought you spent your life looking for loopholes. The law isn't absolute, it's filled with contradictions. The law is the end product of many years of history, the fruit of human knowledge. The whole time you were screaming, I just had the biggest <laughs> yeah, smile I'm on sure. my face. It was great. Like a gem polished to a gleam through trials and errors. Now I know why you were trying to prepare for the It final. is this fruit we receive and pass on and face in our time. And it is always changing, growing. Nurturing it is our task as human beings. Except for you, Kristoff. You aren't changing. You've stopped. You're not needed anymore. Also, his hair down looks like, um, uh, Malfoy's dad. Lucius Malfoy. Lucius, it was Lucius Malfoy. I couldn't think of anything to say. Maybe because I still haven't seen enough. But someday, I'll know what law is. And I'll fight to change it if I have to. Objection! The end of the game. Du -du 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 I see no need for fur to further prolong this trial. This began as the trial of Vera Misham, accused of murdering her father. The painter drew Misham, however. Several other incidents were reviewed, and we seem to have reached a conclusion. Before this court declares a verdict, I await your decision. Jurists of the court, for the death of Drew Misham, how do you find the defendant Vera Misham? It's like guilty. Innocent or guilty? I turn to you now to consider this matter. We wait 30 minutes. Someone pulls the plug. October 9th, 12.48pm, Jurist Chambers. Who's in here? This ends the trial for this case. Only the verdict remains to be decided. I really hope 
that all the people who are the jurists are Von Karma, Edgeworth, Maya, <laughs> Maya Pearl. Faye, no, not Pearl, um, Maya Faye, and Payne. Those Winston four. Payne. <laughs> Winston Payne, all four of them. Defendant Vera Misham is currently in intensive or, care. Or Godot, except Godot's dead, so. Yeah. If a decision cannot be reached today, it may never be reached. The factors involved are simple. Did the defendant poison her father that night? If so, she is guilty. Or was there another reason for Mr. Misham's death? Did another person poison him? If so, she is innocent. A panel has been provided for each of you to input your decisions. That is all. This is you. Please, wait. Yes, jurist number six? There's something in the jurist handbook here. Persons involved with the case may not be jurists. That is correct. I've looked into all of your dossiers. None of you were involved with the development of this case. With the development of the case, I see. Does that answer your concern? It's time for your verdicts. I don't even know who this is. Make your decision in the case against Vera Misham. After seven years, the truth is ready to be heard. Judge wisely. Judge well. Come on, I wanted to see who these people are! Guilty or not guilty? Wait, what? See that in the shadow? Um, it's a hood. Is it Lamewa? What, what are we supposed to do? So, okay, okay, easiest bad ending to avoid ever. If you saw it guilty, it's like, it looks like it was a hung jury, and then Vera died in intensive care, and the, per per the vote was postponed for all eternity. Really? Game over. We're yeah. not doing that. No, we're not. Okay, good. Yeah, Lama <laughs> was. <laughs> oh, no. Lama was like, sorry for doing her voice wrong. No, that's fine. I just couldn't tell who it was. Wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Hold up! Is that really how it went? Yep. Wait, but that doesn't make any sense. She went to Borgania. She lost her memory after Oh all my that. gosh! This is so cool! <laughs> this is why I really like the Fergus. It actually ties in! No, it ties story. in with everything else. I like, I like the second half of this case. <laughs> where you're in the computer and, <laughs> yeah. and Vera passes out and then there's that wow that makes so much sense but she, then she's blind yep you don't see but she has darker skin no she doesn't okay in that fact, explains okay, why in I fact, thought she looked familiar yeah cause pretty much every let's play I've seen like they've seen the stamp they're that's Vera what the heck I didn't, never saw the connection I never saw the connection she even has kind of the same haircut <laughs> for me it was the eyes I'm like these eyes I've seen them somewhere and I'm gonna figure it out yeah Those I, were, that's it that's a great twist <laughs> And so a verdict was reached on October 9th, 2.14 p.m. Wait, they took, like, uh, two hours! To Wait a sec. Second thing, this doesn't make any sense! Lamewa can't see. How is she able to vote on a computer? We're gonna see that. Oh, okay. So a verdict was, was reached on October 9th, 2.14 p.m. after a lot of Taco Bell. The first verdict under the jurist system. Innocent. By unanimous decision. The record will show... That when the verdict was announced, special witness Christoph Gavin laughed. A laugh louder than any heard before. <laughs> that looks or since. Great. A laugh that echoed in the halls of justice, lingering for what seemed like hours. Aw, oh, we didn't get to see it though, or hear you laugh. That makes it even creepier, honestly. Yeah. October 10th, 8.30 a.m., the morning after the trial. In an intensive care ward, a true miracle occurred. Oh. Vera Misham opened her eyes. Cool. I thought she was going to die, to be honest. <laughs> oh, look! It's the Hickfield Clinic! Hopefully Creeper got fired. <sighs> October 10th, 10, 10, 12 a.m. Vera! I'm so glad I... Don't cry, Apollo. I'm happy, too. And proud. You did well, Apollo. When I thought about... What if Vera... I... Hey, now! Don't you start crying, too! Um, sorry you had to see us like this. V Vera? Thank you so much, Apollo. Thank you. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have pressed you like that. If, if I hadn't, you never would have bitten your nails. No, I was wrong. Staying locked inside like that, clinging to my good luck charm. Vera. When I opened my eyes and saw you, I... Finally understood. 
It's important to be a part of the world. To see things with your own eyes. It looks like that poison had some effect after all. It killed off whatever was holding Vera back from life. Also, this isn't just like, what the crap, she was the first person to ever survive that she couldn't poison. It actually makes sense. She did her nails, like, all the time. Mm -hmm. Even if she didn't bite them unless she was nervous, if she was putting atroquinine poisoning on her nails on a regular basis, like tiny, tiny, tiny little amounts of that would seep yeah. into her pores and she could build up a very small immunity to it. It's true. Yeah, you are, you are dead right. I knew you'd pull through, but Vera. I mean, that's what Apollo was fighting for the whole time. Your future. I won't forget it. Here, let me thank you. No, really, it's okay. Look, it's me! I love it! Thanks! Is that me? She really captured your essence, Apollo. Well, I think so, at least. That reminds me. Do you know where the other lawyer is? The other lawyer? Oh, you mean Daddy? Except he's not a lawyer anymore. It's my fault, isn't it? I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I meant. No, it's okay. I'm through looking away with the things I, from the things I've done. I hope I can look him in the eyes again someday and apologize. I'm sure he'd be happy to hear that. He brought all those things for me when he came to visit earlier. <laughs> so we didn't have to, like, make a new asset. <laughs> you brought all the You videos. mean the stack of videos? Mr. Wright finished watching them all? <laughs> also that grape juice. <laughs> you know, I knew my real daddy was alive. Huh? I was there seven years ago, remember? I was the one who helped him vanish from the courtroom. Okay, also, just want to note in the first case, Gavin was like, Oh, you're saying there's a fourth person there? Maybe there's a fifth person and a sixth person. It's like, well, Spark Brusha was there, <laughs> briefly. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's funny. funny. You, you did what? How? I'm not telling. He promised me that day he went away. We may not meet again for some time, Trucy. But know this, I will be watching, and one day I shall return. Nope. You're the next Grammary, after all. He also has- he, he has the same laugh as Damon Gant. I just realized yeah, that. Yeah, he does. Oh, Trucy. In the end, he couldn't keep that promise, could he? It's okay. Phoenix is my daddy now. Even if he can't really play the piano. That he can't. Oh, and I've got you too. Even if your voice is kind of loud sometimes. Glad I made your list. Hey, come to think of it. Where is daddy? The one who can't play? Do you know Apollo? I think he said he had to meet someone. Hmm, I wonder. Maybe it's a new mommy. <sighs> Maybe it's an old mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Trucy. Hmm? Yeah, Vera? I was wondering, could you show him to me once more? Sir Hat, was it? Oh, he's not been knighted. Yet. Here goes. Do us an impersonation, Mr. Hat. OBJECTION! Rahem. <laughs> Not loud enough, and I like Miss Magic underwear better anyway. That's magic panties, Apollo! She's never gonna let it go. So, your memory's returned. Mr. Wright, was this all a part of your plan, too? I don't know what you're talking about. When I lost my memory, I was reborn as Lamewa. But... You knew my true identity, did you not? That is why you chose me as one of your jurists. Uh, you're thinking into it too much. Besides, there was no guarantee that regaining your memory would make you happy. Because remember at the end of the third case, he's like, yeah. I f like I've been t trying to talk her into getting an eye operation, which would restore her, her sight, sight and her memory. Yeah. Which is why she like can it. see to be- I couldn't see, so I pushed I guilty I by mistake! <laughs> 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 That's what I thought would happen. <laughs> Of course it is a happy thing. For so long I thought I was alone. But now I know I have children. Two dear children. I'm so proud of them. This too, I think, 
things thanks to you. This makes a lot of moments in the third case as well a lot sweeter because it's like yeah. Apollo and Trucy interacting with their mom. They don't know it. And the, she doesn't know and, it. And Apollo's like, I don't really like the Cavaliers concert, but I really like Lama Wah's scene in, which is kind of sweet. Yeah. And then there's also funny parts where we're like, Lama Wah's like, Apollo, why is your voice so loud? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then there's also like, this makes so much sense too, because she was a performer before. Yeah. And so then like, even in so her she had lost a kick memory. Voice. No, but even in her lost memory, it was like, oh, yeah, performing. Okay, I can get into this. And it's like, oh, but you did that before. Mm -hmm. Are you going to tell them? They do not know. Nope. They don't know their mother. They don't even know their siblings. I will go to them. When the time is right. Until then, I... How about you do it now before, like, they start dating or something? Yeah, like, Luke and Leia! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> don't worry. I'll take care of them for you. I mean, Apollo's 22, 23, and she's 15, so that would be weird. Yeah, that would be, but still. They're... They're very important to me, too. A little annoying at times, but still. I have to keep an eye on her, at least. Because I'm the only one who knows how she really feels on the inside. Yeah. Poor Trucy. Your bracelet. Yes. I've seen a lot of mysterious fiends these past seven years. But your bracelets were the strangest of all. I remember meeting him half a year ago now in Christoph Gavin's office. And then I met you, and she had her sleeves up. If she had pulled her sleeves down, Apollo would have been like, Why do you have the same bracelet? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Two fates destined to intertwine. And I was there when they crossed. I'll never forget that. Such a small thing, that bullet. Yet it tore who I was away. Oh, it hit her in the eyes. Yeah. Ten years ago, during a simple rehearsal. It was a miracle no one died, but I didn't survive that accident. That is why I left the troop, my family. So here's my thing, Case 2 is really the only one that doesn't advance the overall plot that much. Like, yeah, you Case get in- Case 2, walky. <laughs> walky. <laughs> I mean, okay, yes, you get introduced to, like, reintroduced to Emma. Yes, you get introduced to Clavier. Yeah. But that could have been any case. Yeah. And yes, you learned a little bit about Phoenix getting disbarred. Right. That's really it, though. Yeah. But, like, Case Free introduced, like, Lama Wah, who's really important, Valent Grammar, who ended up being pretty important. Uh -huh. I knew Valent Grammar was gonna be important. Yeah. Like, once I saw him appear, I'm like, he's either gonna be important to this case, or he's gonna be important to another case. Now my memory's returned. I am myself once more. For the first time, I'm glad to be alive, Mr. Wright. Speaking of miracles, Vera Misham regained consciousness this morning. I can only hope she's as glad as you are. It is a strange thing, fate. Sometimes a life is taken. Sometimes a life is spared. You know what I've been thinking? People don't die that easily, really. As long as they've got something worth living for. Tell that to me, Faye, and Misty Faye, Faye and, and Drew Bishop. And, and, and like every, all these people who died. <laughs> and that's pretty much the end of my story. For now, anyway. Until there's another game! I've still got a long way to go, and this power of mine, well, it needs some work. But, there's hope now. We lost it, but somehow we found it again. That's why people are smiling again. Hope. Yeah, I think I'll keep at this lawyer fiend for a while. Oops, training time, gotta go. Cords of steel, here comes justice! OBJECTION! Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. That was good. I considered- oh, you know. I'm glad you're staying with the agency, Apollo. It's like, like I found my long lost big little brother. Oh, and don't you worry about the troop grammary. Trucy's on the case. Now that I have this, thanks to daddy. Trucy grammary? Frankly, I've got my doubts, but hat grammary, now that'll pack him in. Oh, they've got photographs now. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, because of the new and improved graphics. New and improved graphics. It's not every day you get a trial that rocks harder than one of our gigs, yeah. That's why it's over. The Cavaneers are breaking up. The news caused a run on tissues at supermarkets nationwide. You're the real stars now. I look forward to our next jam session. 
Poor Clavier. I, he was so nice. That's who I feel bad for. He was so nice. His brother is like a psychopath. And he yeah. lost like his good friend Darian also. Okay, and but his he was also a psychopath. Up. Yeah, his he, band He wasn't a psychopath. Up. He was just like... His band broke up a while ago though, really. Well, it's finally over. You know, thinking about it. I've been a piano player longer than I was a lawyer. Now that everything's sorted and I've got time on my hands, maybe I'll take some lessons. Or maybe I'll take the bar exam. Again. Nice. Will Phoenix Wright come back? <laughs> maybe. I like how this game had way more to do with Phoenix Wright than I thought it would. You like that? Some people I really like don't that. like that. I like that because at first I was like, <sighs> new universe, new things, stupidity. <laughs> but Because some works. people are like, it should have been all about Apollo. Oh, yes. Hey, beauty. So, I was standing around eating snack foods the other day. When I got this crazy idea. What if they were golden? You could augment the crunch, or better yet, make them ding. Ah, the power of science. Although the preservations may not be 100% safe. <laughs> Your voice for Emma when she's eating is so good. It is so good. <laughs> We're not again. I can't, not. I can't, I can't wait to hear it. Because I can't, of course, hear myself. Right, right. Ah. Oh. In unlikely event you are waiting for Russian feast, come to Borscht Bowl Club! The only thing colder than restaurant is Borscht! Duh, but if greater challenge is being required... Then come to the hideout. You know who to ask for. Just as clarification, no, she is not a prostitute. Okay, I'm <laughs> sorry! I said one thing, and now it's been blown out of proportion! And now it's a meme, probably. <laughs> Nobody watches her videos. <laughs> not, not yet. A, oh, I can change yet. in three years. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, no, I forgot. So, Kentucky's pastries is getting back to Easter roots. Spread the culture and all. Yo, boss, culture time. This is how we write root, capiche. But we're still giving back to the people. Yo, boss, PR time. And this is how we write people, all right? Not that Walkie's paying any attention. Whoa, kids! She was like the only good part of that case. Little Plum was a great character. I forgot but she I was barely to... in it! I forgot that I'd have to voice her again. I was like, ooh. I already sang a bunch today, too. Zoe! Jenny's character's on a kick was a fly idea like 3,000 years ago. Believe that. Man, you want to make it today? You got to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Yo, that's why I make the OG cracker, for real. I know it don't look like no cracker. G, what, you want me to call it the OG muffin? <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. I like voicing him, I just don't like him as a character. Yeah. Oh, are we gonna voice his psychopathic girlfriend? No, Aww. we don't voice the guys who are arrested. Oh, no. I don't know where about all the talk this food's coming from. You ask me, there's only one food and that's noodles. Noodles forever. I got a new one too. See, this time I just put a big chunk of salt in the bowl. <laughs> oh no. Why well, pretend El Dude's noodles is about to salt. Salt forever. I like how you gave him the Texan voice. <laughs> yeah. Even though he's Japanese. Yeah, it's fine. All the characters in that case are Japanese too. That was the first case where it's like, oh, it's the. Oh, your favorite. I like this guy way more after voicing. My exceptionally inquisitive nature has won me unequal vocal adoration in my department. You see, they used to call me Wesley Stinkler and Wesley Sticky Hands. But no longer. I have a new name, one that reflects my true academic nature. Wesley Sicko, reporting. Yes, curiosity is a sickness and I am the cure. That He's guy, the longest I, eyelashes I ever. hated that guy when I played casually, but voicing him was a lot of fun. Yeah. There, there are characters like that. Like, you made April May a lot better. Yeah, it was a lot more fun. Thank you, localization team, for Thank you, thank you, thank things. you. Absolute quality, Europe! <laughs> it's true. They believe in absolute Special quality. Thanks. Wait, that can't be all the characters. I don't know how to thank you for all you've done. Light has returned to my life and with it joy. I may have lost years, but I have gained a treasure. Two treasures, in fact. I will think of them when I write my next song. She looks so pretty. Yeah, nice when she's not wearing her cape. Now it looks 
more. The life. problem is they don't. You don't get the photos or like the interviews with the end of people who got arrested, and a lot of people got arrested. Brush up, brush up, brush up, brush up, brush up, brush up. Brush up here, back on the beat with another interview. Hey, how do I feel about how things turned out? No scoop yet, but journalist's confidence in mint condition. And quo. Oh come on! They took a picture of that. <laughs> Ugh. So you'll always remember him. You still don't really like I him. I don't like him at all. That's, that, that's fine. I don't know. Okay. I've decided to keep painting. Originals only, of course. I suppose I'll have to see a bit of the world outside to find out what to paint. But I know there are good people out there now. I've met them. The door is open. The world is waiting. Thank you. Thank you, Vera. She's one of my favorite characters. She's I awesome. would be happy to see her in another case. Yeah, me too. I'd also be happy to see Lamiwa again. Lamiwa would be cool. Vera's drawing. Aw, that's a nice That ending. looks just like, and they look just like siblings there. Yep, it's great. Even if Trucy's not my favorite. But she's not my least favorite partner. She's somehow, for you. We might encounter my least favorite partner in the next game. In the next game? What, does Edgeworth have an annoying crony? Possibly. Really? <laughs> if and it's Von Karma, right, I'd be super so, happy. So hang on. Before we end yeah, the Let's yeah, Play, course. I Let's... want to hear your final thoughts on Apollo yeah. Justice. So I went into this kind of like, <sighs> fine, we'll play this game. If it has Phoenix Wright, cool. And then it did. And then there was a lot of, um, yeah. I feel like each case started out with me not super excited, with the exception of that Lemiwa case. And then it got better and better as each case went on. Like, the final case, I can see why everyone split on it, because the first half is kind of garbage. Oh, really? It's kind of garbage. And then you get to, like, when she faints, and then you're transported into, like, this... So weird... basically you like the part where you were Phoenix Wright. I like the part where you were Phoenix Wright. I also liked that trial when she finally talked. Mm -hmm. And then she eventually But you're just like, you're talking closing. to Toothbrush Man. Yeah. I don't like I Toothbrush love Man. First, I love the first case, too. First case is the best first case in the, the series, second I would case, say. I liked the villain, but I you didn't... You liked Alita Tiala the Boring? She was fun once I got into the rhythm of her. And it was interesting to see... That was a cool um, examination thing of like, oh, she her neck, she wears the scarf because she has this thing. Mm -hmm. Like, that was interesting to see. I really liked how the magicians played out and how everything linked up. Mm -hmm. Um, I did not think anything would link up between the third and the, the fourth third case. and the fourth case at all. I also didn't think we'd know anything about Apollo Justice. That we kind like, of don't learn a whole lot. Okay, but we learned that like he's connected to Trucy and that yeah. he's got like this mother who he met, who was one of the so, previous. So I'll who say was there convicted. there are two more like games of Apollo Justice. Oh. Yeah, there are two more. I didn't know Th that. Those are on the 3DS, though. Okay. So we might not be able to record Aww. them, at least not for a long time. Yeah. Those games go in more in-depth in Apollo, who Apollo was in uh, okay. that story. I guess that makes sense that they would do that. I thought this would be a one-off, to be honest. I didn't think, I didn't actually know there were other Apollo Justice things. It, they, they might not necessarily be starring Apollo, but oh, he's they, in he's them. Oh, he's in them. Okay. 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 So... My thoughts on this game, I'd say this is one of the weakest Ace Attorney games. Yeah, although the and third Phoenix Wright game is really mixed as well, I'd say. Oh, it's you really, are, you it's are really in the really minority good. there. It's Most really, people really think good. it's the best. The reason I say it's mixed is because there's there's that one case that I was like, I need to step back for a sec just because of how like insanely intense it was. The fifth one, I assume? The the one where the guy um, dies in the middle of the courtroom. Oh, case That four. one. Um, but I think the thing that was more annoying was it's just like, well, it's the same person who's doing all of these things and we want her dead. And then like she dies and it's amazing. Um, <laughs> my favorite game still might be the second one. I think That's so weird, because you're like, the third game I have mixed feelings about, but the second game's amazing. Most people are like, the second game is, the, yeah, and the third game's the best. The third, well, the second game, which cases did it have? Because I'm trying second to Second game had Mr. Wellington Loves Orange Bananas. Yup. It had Iny My favorite. It had the circus case. Yeah, okay. And then it had the Mad On Guard case. Okay. I thought that in my brain, yeah, okay. It did not have the Mask to Mask case. It did not have the Mask to Mask case. That was That was three. the third one. Okay. Yeah. The second game had a lot of heart twice, the though. Second, the second game, like, that second case, 
oh my gosh. You, I think, uh, I really liked it. Most people do. I'm in the minority for being like, the second case is, ah, I don't like it. But, okay. but the third so case was, is hilarious. The third case was also great. I think the main thing is just, I tend to like cases where I get to talk more and act. You didn't get to talk that much in this last case, though. That's the thing, but you I still liked it. I really liked it because it was like the new story. I still was Vera. I still was Trucy occasionally. And... Once Christoph you got, Gavin. Chris, Christoph Gavin is just really fascinating. Do you like him as a villain? Yeah, he's great. Is he your favorite villain thus far? But Von Karma, we put so much into him. I oh, know, oh, Von Karma. The like, male Von Karma. Just because of the spa day. Just That's really the spa it. Day. I think that was some of it. I feel like that that video needs to be also, prerequisite for anyone who watches our AC Attorney videos. Because that is the thing we yeah, go back and reference talk, the most. I think the main thing, too, is that one, it's like, you don't really expect him. You're like, well. this guy's such a butt. Then you're he's, wait, he's like a killer? He's oh. a killer butt! Oh my gosh! And, and then, then like, at the time you were like, I totally called that because he was a butt. Yeah, because <laughs> it's common for butts to die. <laughs> no, but for me, it's it was like, you could tell once he tased you that it's like, okay, well, it's sort of like the mafia jumps you and you're like, okay. Versus mm -hmm. Kristoff doesn't do any of that. No, At but all. for me, what makes Kristoff really scary is, A, how intelligent was. Keep, keep in mind, so we convicted Kristoff twice. Both times, the only reason we were able to convict him is because Phoenix Wright broke the law. First, when Phoenix Wright forged the, like, uh -huh. ace with the blood on it. And second, when he completely overhauled the justice system in order yeah. to convict Kristoff. Also, we had the prosecution on our side for that, too. Right. If it weren't for, like, all of that, he would have gotten away 100% scot-free. Yeah. And which I think, is and he pretty, knew it. Yeah, one hundred percent. Which, which psychologically, is, he, that's terrifying. he might have even gotten off the hook if he knew about the jury ahead of time. He would have, but because he didn't, he was basically like, "Yeah, I basically all but admitted to the crime." Like he's like, "Oh, yeah. I'm so happy that this happened. Oh, that would be brilliant if it did happen, but you don't have proof of it." Yeah. And he was acting like a total butt, and that's why he had and that that's why epic he had freak out. The epic freak especially out, since freak he. Down. The main reason he had the epic freak out is because he learned that Phoenix Wright, who he considered to be, like, an absolutely terrible attorney, yeah. like, was smarter than him, and he was like... Yeah. Also that he was just... He was the one who was like, the attorney is law, and all, like... Yeah. It, it's really interesting to see. I, I, yeah, I really like that. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, 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 what? what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Um, bleh, bleh, bleh. It was about... Oh, yeah. I think Kristoff has... The calmest breakdown in the series in the first case where he just slams his fist down yeah. and the most insane breakdown in the whole series. He doesn't have the most insane breakdown. <laughs> Are you Okay, well, Dahlia, Dahlia getting exercised was also pretty insane. Dahlia literally, like, I'm talking about sent to hell and you think that this was more intense? <laughs> this could actually happen, though, him just, like, yeah. losing it. Dahlia, completely. though, like, it's there's such a build-up to that where you see her in all these other cases. You see how she gets away with it you see how her sister manages to help her with it mm -hmm. and then in spite of all that she still gets taken down even though she's dead yeah they, it's they epic. bring her back to life just to take her down and then she just gets destroyed and it's amazing it is amazing okay <laughs> yeah we've talked too long well i was i was worried to say yeah i could see but i i feel like just in terms of pure insanity and like oh, yeah. what the bleep factor because you kind of expected dahlia was going to get exercised in some way i didn't expect it i was a well you knew it. once you knew she was a spirit inhabiting it you knew her yeah, spot, spirit knew. would have to leave i never expected Kristoff to just lose His it completely mind. yeah well that <laughs> seems fantastic. to happen a lot yeah so for me for this game i re i adore the first case i adore the last case i think they're brilliantly written Second case yeah. is absolutely garbage. I think it's, it's the fine, worst. I think it is the not, worst case not... in the series. Case, I think it's the second case is the worst case in the series. What? There are two cases in the next game we play that come close. Okay. But for various reasons, I'm saying they're a little better. Mainly because... You think the walkie case is the worst in the yes, series? Yes! I hate all of the characters they introduce in that case, except Clavier Gavin. <laughs> He's great. And I guess a little plump, but she barely is in it. Wow. Because Alita Tiala is horrible. Waki is horrible. Wesley Stickler, just casually speaking, is terrible. Uh, Guy Aldoon is not very great. Yeah. The victim was boring. It was the first case that's like, oh, it's not America anymore. It's definitely Japan, which annoyed me because uh -huh. I'm American. Yeah, okay. Um, it and doesn't really tie in with the overall plot. It I doesn't. like cases that tie in with the overall plot, which is why one of the future games we do does a brilliant job of that. Okay. 
yeah, that was Apollo Justice, everyone. Dang. Thanks for joining in. Hope you really enjoyed it. We will be doing... There are two more games we can do right now that right I can now. record. Yeah. And they are the two Edgeworth really games. Get a, like, some way to figure out how to record If I can DS. record 3DS, or if they release the 3DS games for Switch, I can record those. Yeah, you're right. If they do that, that'd be So fine. I will totally be up for doing that. But thanks, Marty, for joining me. Yeah, this was a always, pleasure. always... Super pleasure. I always have a lot of fun with these. Next co-op Let's Play we do will probably be the first Edgeworth Investigations game. There are two. One of the... The second one... And it really annoys me. The second one was only released in Japan and it is the best game in the Ace Attorney series, in my opinion. But they we kept have, the best we have an themselves. English patch. But, I to, but here's the thing. I understand why. Because the first Edgeworth game is pretty bad. Well... It, the, the first no I'll say this the first <laughs> the first Edgeworth game it's like, the first Edgeworth game Marty it's like if you love Ace Attorney you'll probably like, like? the first Edgeworth game it did not get, do very well in America so they're like oh I guess they don't want the Edgeworth games let's keep this really amazing game to ourselves <laughs> why are we turning Owen Wilson Owen is behind Wilson. all of the vocalization anyhow no, he's not. we need to turn it uh, stop it there thanks yeah. again so much for watching everybody hit subscribe if you want or you don't yeah, have to. It doesn't matter to. to me. I don't or make money off of these. We just ramble and we have fun. <laughs> Everyone like has turned off the video by now anyways. Let's yeah, be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Tune in next time for future Let's Plays. Hope to see you then. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day. And God bless. Don't become like Kristoff. No. That's the moral. Also, there's no art for the pictures, right? There's no, no art. There's not. I would have wanted to see a picture of Kristoff Gavin like in chains. <laughs> that would have been great.